and and it's just that on top of like everybody being like you're on drugs and you're crazy and what has she done to herself and you need help you need like don't be afraid to like you need to seek help um that stuff is so it's it's really heavy it's a heavy thing and it's kind of funny because I I always was the person to be like posting dumb shit on the internet. Like, I mean, for, for a fucking example, I made Moo. I have a song called like, Bitch I'm a Cow and I'm like rapping about like literally being a cow. And like, I got famous off of that. So it's just funny to me that people are in any way like shocked or taken aback by me being bald and having no eyebrows. Maybe, maybe to be fair, I've always kind of seemed like a thought. Like I've always had my ass out and been like sexy and like I rap about sex and stuff like that. So this being this, some people don't see this as very sexual, but to me it is. I feel like I feel sexy. Um, for sure, but I, I understand that. I can see that angle of it, but I, I don't care. And I have had moments in my life where I have not been well. I, there was a moment where I was really stressed out and this was like maybe eight years ago or something like that, a long time ago. Um, yeah, much, I mean, even further back. I was like very not in a good place. I've I've like had that issue before. And you guys would know. Or or actually, I was still performing and touring, but nobody could tell that I was going through this. And it's just funny. It's like the second that I get to feeling like I'm free and I feel cool motherfuckers are like you're not good (laughs) you're not okay but I'm like I'm chill and like I really I want you guys to not be if you really have you know love for me and you really are concerned about me I do want you to know that like this isn't uh like a cry for help or an issue of any sort this is just me having no hair and I'm still the same me um I guess the bigger the bigger difference now in my life is that I'm not performing and working as much so I have a little bit more freedom and uh I think that that kind of makes me overexert in a way like I'm like kind of crazy on the internet more more so now just because I have that time um, and I get bored. I get bored now. I used to not really get bored. Um, so yeah. I really do appreciate you guys being like concerned. I don't appreciate the randoms who are in here probably right now who are like, you're, you're sick. <laughs> like, it's just not cool to like diagnose people that you don't know. Um, But yeah, I've just, I've always been like this and I'm probably always going to be like this. Um, and I don't, I, it's, it's actually sad that I have to explain this stuff because a lot of people don't. Um, but it's, it's, I guess it's where I put myself, you know, I kind of, I kind of brought this on myself. Um, I have a lot of people, a lot of eyes on me. I have a lot of followers, so, you know, not every single one of them is cool. Not every single one of my followers is kind. Not every single one of my followers is, you know what I mean? Like, some of y'all are actually, some of y'all are following me, but you don't have my best interest at heart, and you really do have the ability to, to hurt me. 
Like you, you would go out of your way to say something that is hurtful or insensitive. Um, and we all say dumb shit, but I want you to know that I know that. And I just, I don't care. I don't care how you feel about me doing this. Um, if you don't care about how I feel in general as a person. And yeah, so that's basically that. And I love you guys. Thank you so much to all the people who care and are supporting me. I really do. I love you. I don't say it enough, but I do. And uh, yeah. All right. Everybody have a good one. I'm out. Bye.